Marcy, I got to ask you about the departure of Ben Meng. Uh, he, he departed over some concerns about a conflict of interest over having personal holdings. Can you speak to it and what it means going forward for, for CalPERS? Right. Yeah, unfortunately, you know, Mr. Meng uh, did decide to resign from the fund, uh, you know, and I, I can't really speak, you know, in too much detail about uh, the reasons why, I, you know, this is a very public uh, job. You know, we have a $415 billion portfolio, and it does cause quite a bit of public attention. And some chief investment officers would, you know, certainly prefer to focus on the portfolio and focus on the team. Uh, but, you know, the next uh, chief investment officer has to understand that it's both a, you know, understanding how to manage the portfolio, build a very strong and competent uh, team, but also understand the public nature of the, of, the, of the job. So one of the things that we are looking at, right. our board is meeting this week, is whether the new chief investment officer would need to put any financial assets into a blind trust. That way, it would avoid any perception of conflicts and would truly avoid any actual conflicts as well.